You open Google AI Studio and it feels like a cockpit built for geniuses. VO2, Live, Build, Gemini 2.5 Pro, and a wall of buttons you're scared to touch. You've heard that this platform gives you free, unlimited access to Google's most powerful AI models. But in practice, it just sits there, acting like a slightly fancier chatbot. You don't know which model to pick, how Live actually works, what Build is even for, or why everyone keeps talking about VO and Gemini. Today, we're going to fix that. I'm going to turn Google AI Studio into your personal AI command center. You'll learn how to generate ultra-consistent images with Nano Banana and Imagine 4. Create cinematic clips with VO2. Use Live to have an AI that literally watches your screen in real time. Based on what I can see in your OBS settings, you should set the encoder preset to maximum quality. Build your own apps with the Build tab and replace paid tools with Gemini 2.5 Pro for reasoning and Gemini 2.5 Pro TTS for voice. By the end of this video, you won't just know the interface. You'll have a complete workflow you can use to work, study, and create content with AI every single day without paying a cent. And so you don't waste time copying anything by hand. Every prompt and direct link I use today for Nano Banana, Imagine 4, VO, Build, and Gemini is already waiting for you in my Discord, linked in the description. And if you stay until the end, I'll show you how to unlock a PDF with the best free AIs and advanced tricks we don't share on YouTube. Let's start with the thing most people care about first, images. Once you're inside Google AI Studio, look at the menu on the left and click Playground. On the right, you'll see a model box. Switch that to Images. You'll see several options, but don't panic, just follow me. First, select Nano Banana. Right now, this is one of Google's strongest image models. And the best part is that it supports basically any aspect ratio you need. The real power of Nano Banana is control and consistency. It's insanely good at changing specific parts of an image without destroying everything else. And it actually understands the reference images you upload. So if you want to save money on ads, you can upload a simple photo of the product you're selling and ask it to place that product in different scenes, on a desk, in a futuristic city, on a beach, at sunset, whatever you want. It will keep your product intact and redesign the world around it. On top of that, Nano Banana can keep the same style across multiple generations. If you're building a viral story, a carousel, or a sequence of shots for a video, this matters a lot. You don't want your character to look like a different person in every frame. Nano Banana is great at keeping that visual thread, so your content feels like one coherent project instead of a collage of random images. If you're following along and getting good results already, you're ahead of most people who open Google AI Studio and never get past the first generation. But I want to give you an image model almost nobody is using properly. Go back to the model selector and this time click on Imagine 4 Ultra. According to Google itself, this is their most powerful model when it comes to overall image quality and especially text inside images. This is the one you want for thumbnails, posters, covers, social posts, anything where the text on the image actually has to be readable and not look like AI gibberish. Here's how I recommend you set it up. First, choose the number of results. After a lot of testing, the sweet spot is generating two images at a time. That gives you options without overloading the system. Then pick your aspect ratio. 16 to 9 for YouTube thumbnails and banners, 9 to 16 for shorts, TikTok, and reels, 1 to 1 if you want square posts. Finally, choose the output resolution. You can experiment, but I suggest starting with 2K so you get sharp details and clean text without waiting forever. With Imagine 4 Ultra, you just write your prompt and you get super sharp, detailed images with text that actually looks like text with no random broken letters. If your main goal is speed and you don't need as much detail, try Imagine 4 Fast, which is a lighter version designed to be quicker. Between Nano Banana for style consistency and Imagine 4 Ultra slash Fast for anything with text, you already have a full image studio inside Google AI Studio. Now let's move to a completely different pane. Those moments when you're working, you hit a problem, you dump screenshots and context into an AI, and it still doesn't get what's going on. This is exactly what Live was built for. On the right side of Google AI Studio, click on the Live section. 
Select the model you see there and let's set it up like a pro. Imagine you could just tell an AI, build me a complete daily planner. And a few seconds later, the app is ready. That's what Creo does. It's an AI native app builder that lets you create full apps and content tools just by chatting, no coding needed. For this video, I actually asked Creo to build a planner that I use myself to organize my YouTube ideas and my daily tasks. We go into the website, this is the dashboard, and I type my idea up here in the AI box. Create a planner with all the important features for everyday life. Creo thinks for a moment, suggests connecting things like your calendar or your tasks, and then it instantly generates the whole app. Today view, next seven days, full calendar, buttons to add tasks and events, all running in your browser. If you don't want to start from scratch, down here you've got templates. Content calendars, finance trackers, customer managers, ticket systems. You pick one that's close, and the AI customizes it with you. And the best part is the edit step. At any time, you can ask it to modify your tool. Add a high priority tag, change the layout, create a view only for VIP clients, and Creo rewrites the code and updates your app in seconds. You can try Creo using the link I'm leaving for you down in the description. First, choose the voice you want your assistant to have. This is how it will sound when it talks back to you. Ready to build something awesome? Got a project in mind? What do you want to explore? Leave the media resolution as it is. That's good enough for most cases. And very important, activate thinking mode. This gives the model more time to process what it's seeing and hearing, so it can give deeper answers instead of basic, surface-level replies. Live has three main modes. The first is the classic voice assistant. You talk, it listens, and it responds. But it doesn't feel like a stiff text-to-speech robot. It's more like you're on a call with a person who actually follows the conversation in real time. That alone is handy, but the real power starts with the other two modes. The second mode uses your webcam. When you turn it on, the AI analyzes everything it sees through your camera and answers you in real time. If your problem is in the real world, not on your screen, this is perfect. You're not sure if a food is healthy? Show it to the camera and ask. You have a physical device or something on your desk that isn't working? Point the webcam at it and ask what to do. You can even use this mode from your phone, so you literally carry a visual assistant in your pocket that can look at things and help you on the spot. But the most powerful option in Live, the one that can realistically change the way you work, is screen sharing. Click on Share Screen and choose the screen or window you want the AI to see. From that moment, Live is aware in real time of everything that's happening on your monitor. You can ask how to configure a tool, how to fix an error, how to edit something, how to build or debug code, how to navigate a complex interface, it watches every step and answers based on what it's actually seeing. Based on what I can see in your OBS settings, you should set the encoder preset to maximum quality, if available. Then you'll need to increase the bit rate, as this directly affects the final quality. You could start with 20,000 and adjust from there, depending on your hardware and desired file size. Don't forget to click Apply to save the changes. You can speak or type your questions, and the best part is that the whole conversation stays saved in the chat, reply by reply, so it keeps the full context of your project. Used like this, Live stops being a toy and becomes the closest thing to having a senior coworker watching your screen and guiding you through your tasks. If Live lets you bring an expert into your workflow, the next section lets you bottle that power and turn it into your own app. On the left menu, click on Build. This is where you can create applications that use Google's AI functions in a completely unlimited way. As soon as you open it, you'll see a list of capabilities you can plug into your app. Don't skip this part, because if you learn to use it now, you'll stay ahead of the average user for a long time. Here you can mix and match features like image scanning and generation with NanoBanana, real-time conversations, video generation with VO, your own chatbots, video analysis to extract key moments, audio transcription to convert speech into text, and more. And remember, this list is only going to grow. Every time Google adds a new function, it will show up here. Using Build is surprisingly simple. First, select one or several functions you want in your app. Then, in the Prompt section, describe exactly what you want that app to do. I'll leave a very detailed prompt in the Discord so you can build your own app that generates images and videos using these tools without writing everything from scratch. Once you've chosen your functions and written your prompt, click Build. Google AI Studio will start creating your app. While it's building, you'll see suggestions for extra features you can add. And when it finishes loading, that's it. Your app is live. You can start generating images, videos, conversations, or whatever you defined, and it just works. It's honestly scary how easy it is. You can download the app, copy the code, or send it to GitHub without any problem. 
And if you want to modify or extend it later, on the left side you have a chat where you can ask it to implement new features or tweak how things work. I wasn't exaggerating when I said the future is here. I'll bring you a full masterclass focused only on build, but with this guide you already have enough to start using it like a professional. Now let's go to the feature that everyone wants to play with. Video. Go back to Playground, open the model box on the right again, switch to Video, and select VO2. Right now, VO2 is Google's most powerful video generation model inside AI Studio. On the right side, start by choosing how many videos you want per prompt. After a lot of tests, my recommendation is to generate two clips at a time. You get variety without burning through your generations. Then choose the aspect ratio depending on your target platform. Horizontal if you're aiming at full-size YouTube videos, vertical if you're going for shorts, TikTok, or Reels. Next, set the duration. The longer the video, the more chances there are for small visual errors or weird motion. So start with shorter clips, see what works best for your ideas, and then push the length further if you need to. Right now, you'll probably see a limit of around 10 video generations. That's normal. Don't worry, I'll give you a simple trick in a moment. For now, I want you to understand this panel and learn to configure it so that when it becomes fully unlimited, you already know exactly what to do. Once you've set everything up, test VO2 with a few prompts and watch how fast it can generate high-quality videos in completely different styles, both horizontal and vertical. It's a really complete tool. And the secret to generating more than your initial allowance is very simple. Google AI Studio is tied to your Google account. If you log in with another Google account, you get a fresh set of generations. That means you can keep creating videos by rotating between accounts. Use it responsibly, but now you know how people are getting more VO generations. To close this tour, I want to show you two features that can quietly become your biggest advantage if you use them properly. First, reasoning. Go back to Model Selection, go to the Featured section, and choose Gemini 2.5 Pro. This is Google's flagship reasoning model, the kind that many other platforms charge around $20 a month to access. And here, you can use it for free. My advice is simple. Every time you have a complex question that needs deep reasoning, long planning, or a careful analysis of a lot of context, use Gemini 2.5 Pro. The difference is obvious. It doesn't feel like it's just grabbing a generic answer from memory. It actually thinks through the information you give it, interprets every word with nuance, and builds more coherent, useful answers. Once you get used to it, you'll feel the downgrade every time you go back to a weaker model. And if you create content, the last feature of today's video is going to save you a lot of money and time. Go again to the model selector. Scroll to the audio section and choose Gemini 2.5 Pro TTS. Think of it as a free, unlimited, 11 Labs-style voice engine built directly into Google AI Studio. For anyone who has never used Eleven Labs, this type of tool is basically perfect for generating AI voices. Narrations for viral videos, tutorials, ads, stories, in any language with a huge variety of voices, all without limits. Let me show you how to get the most out of it and avoid the mistakes I made at the beginning. On the right side, go to Single Speaker Audio. This is the mode we'll use most of the time. Here, you'll see the model settings. Leave the temperature at 1 as a solid default. Below that, you have the list of voices. This is the actual voice that will read your script. Test a few until you find one that matches your style. There are plenty to choose from. Above that, you'll find one of the most important fields that almost everyone ignores. The style instruction. Here, you write a short line describing how you want the voice to speak. You're not just choosing a voice, you're giving it a direction. If you want a slow, deep, emotional narration for a story, write it here. If you want an energetic, punchy tone for a product ad, describe that here. 
This field is crucial because it completely changes how the same voice will sound. Every great idea begins with a single moment of clarity. Every great idea begins with a single moment of clarity. And then you have the main text box. Everything you write there is what the AI will read out loud, exactly as written. That means you need to be careful. Don't leave notes to yourself, stray characters, or anything you don't want spoken, because it will read it and it can ruin an otherwise perfect take. The good news is that it's free and unlimited, so if something goes wrong, you just tweak the script and generate it again. I've generated single audios longer than 8 or even 10 minutes without issues. But if you run into problems, it's a good idea to split your script into chunks. Generate the first two minutes, then the next two, and then join them together in your editor. On the right, there's also a multi-speaker audio section. In theory, this lets you have two different voices in the same audio. In practice, it doesn't work as smoothly as single speaker mode, and it only supports up to two voices. So my recommendation is simple. Generate one voice at a time. First, create all the lines with voice A and download that file. Then, switch the voice and style instruction, generate the lines for voice B, download those, and finally put everything together in your editor. This gives you full control over how each character sounds, avoids glitches, and lets you fine-tune the style of each voice separately. Increase the energy just a bit. Imagine you've spent years searching for a workflow that finally makes sense. Used like this, Gemini 2.5 Pro TTS becomes a ridiculously powerful tool for faceless channels, story channels, tutorials, ads, podcasts, and anything that needs a strong, consistent voice. So now, Inside a single platform, you have Nano Banana and Imagine 4 Ultra Fast for images. Live to have an AI that watches your real world and your screen in real time. Build to create your own unlimited AI apps. VO2 for video generation, Gemini 2.5 Pro for deep reasoning, and Gemini 2.5 Pro TTS for high quality AI voices. You're not just testing AI tools anymore. You're running a full production studio inside Google AI Studio. As I promised at the beginning, if you want to get a PDF with the best free AIs on the market and extra tips and tricks we never show on the channel, it's very simple. Go to the Discord linked in the description of this video. Inside, you'll find our bot. Upload a screenshot showing that you liked this video, subscribed, watched it until the end, and left a positive comment and the bot will automatically send you the PDF with all that information. In the Discord, we keep a different PDF active for every video, so if you repeat the same process with other videos on the channel, you can unlock a huge library of extra, practical content. Let me know in the comments which Google AI Studio feature you want a full, deep-dive masterclass on, or what kind of workflow you'd like to see step-by-step. If this walkthrough saved you hours of trial and error and gave you new ideas, you already know what to do. Thanks for watching and enjoy turning Google AI Studio into your own AI command center.